Hey, what's up guys, this is Marcos. Today we're gonna take a look at the Rodelink Wireless Filmmaker Kit. All right, so I recently bought this system because I'm doing corporate shoots and one of the things I need to do was record good audio straight to the camera. I'm actually using a preamp, which uh, I'll show you my system here. If you click on the card or, or there'll be a link in the description. So check that out. Before, what I used to do is I would run a 3.5 mil to my preamp and then hook up my lab mic. That way I could record audio straight to the camera. Uh, it's not very professional. That's why I decided to go with something wireless like this. What I do is, uh, how this works basically is you hook up your lab to this. Actually, this comes with the lab and I'll show you. This is the lab it comes with. And you hook it up to this uh, transmitter. It says TX, that's how you know it's the transmitter. This goes to the talent, to the person, and you put it on their belt. It has a belt clip there. And then this is the receiver. You hook this up to your camera or to your preamp. That way you get a wireless uh, you know, uh, audio signal straight to the camera. That's what you call it, right? Uh, so that's the first reason I'm doing corporate shoots. But the second reason is if you don't want to do uh, or sync audio after the fact. I don't like doing dual audio. Dual audio is when you, you know, you have like a Zoom H1 in a lab and then you have to sync the audio afterwards. You don't, you want to try to stay away from that. I don't like doing it anymore because it's time consuming. I just like getting my one SD card, putting it on my computer and transferring just that footage with the good audio built into it. So that's the reason for something like this. So let's take a look at it and how to, how to use it. And uh, we'll test out how it actually works and compares to this mic. So let's switch them right now. All right, now you're listening to the Rodelink Wireless Filmmaker Kit. Uh, before you were listening to my Asden SGM1X, which is uh, an overhead mic I have up here. It's a boom mic. So you can kind of tell the difference. If you can't, let me switch back just for a second. Now you're listening to the Asden SGM1X. All right, now you're listening again to the Rodelink. Uh, so it's pretty good quality. I, you know, I like it because I can move around. Let's say I were to step back now i'm out of focus but you can still hear me because i'm not relying on the boom up above me i can move around so that's you know in those situations you probably want to mic someone up with a road link or wireless lab so they can have the the freedom to move around and that's what it's gonna what's gonna happen in some corporate shoots i need to have something like this because the talent is going to be moving around doing presentations or stuff like that uh, so now let's just, uh, let me show you how this thing works, how I set it up in with my camera. That way you know how to use it. All right, let's go over to or the table. All right, so this is what you get out of the box. Uh, it's the transmitter, <laughs> transmitter and the receiver, TX, RX. RX goes to the camera, uh, actually uses DXA Micro Pro, which is a preamp. This connects to the camera and then this would connect to the DS, DXA Micro Pro. That way you get better audio signals. I have a video on this thing, so check it out. For this video, I'm not gonna use it. I'm just gonna connect this receiver, how most people would use it. Uh, you would probably just connect it to your audio, to your camera, to the audio plug like that, right? Uh, so this is the receiver, it's already on. Um, let me turn them off for a bit, just so I can talk about them. Uh, T for transmitter or talent, that's how I like to remember it. If we turn them around, uh, you can open these up. They both need AA batteries. Uh, I set mine to zero dB because I am using um, the preamps on this. Also the preamps on my camera, they're pretty good, so I like to keep it at zero. Now, once you install the batteries, you can just go ahead and turn them on. All right, so they're set to the same channel, they're connected. Now the only thing I need to do is turn this, th this camera on, connect it to the audio. And I'm gonna check the levels on my camera. Yeah, everything's falling. I'm trying to so you can look at it. So I'm gonna check check the levels. Hold on, let me put the mic on myself. Hello, hello. This is hello. I'm checking the audio levels. 
I set it to two on my Sony. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, and that looks pretty good. Hello, hello. Seven is too hot. Hello, hello. This is Marcos. Thank you very much. Hello. So two seems to be the hot, the sweet spot. I don't want it to go above a negative three dB. That seems to be good enough for me. All right. So that's as simple as that. You know, the only last thing is you just want to put this, connect this to the camera. I have a cold shoe mount here and it, I just tighten it. And then you put this on your belt, on the talent, and that's it. So pretty straightforward, right? Hopefully that was easy enough to understand how to use. Um, I'm still testing these out, but so far they've worked out great. The last videos I've done, I've used this system and I haven't had an issue. Uh, but if you have any suggestions, anything I should do differently, if you have any, any issues with interference, because this is a new system for me, something that I have never tried. Uh, yeah, please let, let me know if there, if I should be aware of any, any kind of uh, malfunction or, or interference that you experienced if you own this system. Um, so far so great. I'll keep you updated if anything changes or if I, if I encounter any problems. But uh, that does it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed this. And if you did, go ahead and subscribe. Also like this video and I'll catch you guys on the next one.